Today we're simulating two NFL seasons, but every player has been placed on their hometown team. To build this roster, I went one by one down the Madden 24 roster, making note of the state each player was born in as per football reference. For states home to only one NFL team, which is most of them, it was simple. Nick Chubb was born in Georgia, so he's on the Atlanta Falcons. Easy. For states with multiple teams like Texas and Florida, I unscientifically divided them up like so in a way that made sense in my mind. Then I used a player's birth city to drop them on. On a team. That's why Patrick Mahomes, born in Tyler, Texas, just outside of Dallas, is on the Cowboys. And Lamar Jackson, born in Pompano Beach, just outside of Miami, is on the Dolphins. You with me so far? I divided players born in Southern California as evenly as possible between the Rams and Chargers, while for New York, the Bills got Northern born New Yorkers, the Giants got the rest, and I actually gave the Jets players born in New Jersey. Apologies if that's offensive, Jets fans. I know it's a different state, but like the Jets and Giants are located. Also, the Jets ended up with the best roster of the three. I just mentioned. I'll explain more about the roster as we go, but for reference, I use this map of the states as a guide for building each hometown team, and as you can see, a few teams did get access to multiple states. It, it makes sense, trust me. Final note, I did not maneuver kickers or punters around because that's far too annoying. And also, if you see a depth player here or there that's out of place, just forgive me, okay? Some areas were more sparse than others, and there's so many players in the NFL, so a few might have gotten missed, but it's okay. I won't be able to show every roster, but here's a few. The Bengals, I split Ohio. Ohio between them and the Browns using geography, of course. I would say that the Browns ended up looking a lot better highlighted by the Kelsey Bros and Marshawn Latimer. For the Broncos, I used the state of Colorado as well, bordering Wyoming and Nebraska. It made sense. And low key, if they just run the ball like, I don't know, 50 times a game with McCaffrey, Eckler, Brees Hall, Phillip, Lindsay, they, they might be okay. Tampa Bay ended up being the second best team on paper from the state of Florida. They've got, wow, they're, they're all defense, brother. And unfortunately, Matt Stafford was the best Tampa a Bay Area quarterback I could find. Is he going to be enough? I want to point out right now, in case you missed it on the map earlier, for the Washington Commanders, I actually used the state of Virginia because when I looked it up, I guess their practice facilities are in Virginia. That's good enough for me. And it allowed me to populate the Ravens with the state of Maryland and Delaware. I didn't have to split players up. Both these teams actually look pretty good. Uh, also, Justin Tucker shouldn't be on the Ravens, but he is because he's a kicker. Will he make a difference this video? That would be kind of hilarious. Like Super Bowl winning field goal. Hey, we'll see in due time. Seattle is another multi state team. Obviously, Cooper Cup, Buda Baker coming from the state of Washington. Justin Herbert, though, from Oregon. Leighton Vander Esch from Idaho. It makes sense geographically. And I'm not even showing you guys all the heavyweight rosters yet. No, we'll wait till they uh, make the playoffs because there's a few teams that would be impossible if they missed, including both one seeds after year one of our simulation. In the AFC, it is the Miami Dolphins, easily the best team on paper to come from Florida and the, yeah, the New Orleans Saints. Okay, but you know what? Let's start with those two teams. The Dolphins just, they, they've got everything, man. Bosa certain, uh, both Bosa's. They've also got Lamar under center, Amari Cooper, Dalvin Cook. I mean, they have balance. They have weapons on both sides of the ball. No wonder they were a one seed. And similarly, is there an elite wide receiver in the NFL that didn't come from Louisiana? They've got Justin Jefferson, Chris Jones, uh, Jamar Chase. Hello, AJ Brown. Hello, CD Lamb. And uh, yeah, Dak Prescott, he should be good enough for them. And obviously he was as the Saints did grab the one seed. The Cowboys, yeah, I got to show y'all their roster. The Cardinals sneaking in there, surprising. 49ers, Falcons, Vikings, Eagles. So a bunch of teams I haven't mentioned yet. All over in the AFC, the Titans were a two seed. That's actually not surprising. The Bengals were our Ohio representative. The Steelers representing Pennsylvania. Denver with all them running backs. Are you serious? Okay, the Cowboys have by far the most dominant top end with, oh, look at all these 99s. Trent Williams, Miles Garrett, Pat Mahomes. They have almost no weaknesses, but they aren't quite as deep as the Saints or probably the Dolphins, to be honest. Also, a, to be honest, I have no clue how the Cardinals made the playoffs. I mean, they got Mark Andrews, Cam Jordan. Uh, their quarterback is Brock Purdy. My man is just a magician. He doesn't lose games. The Niners, predictably dominant. Devontae Adams, Josh Allen. They've got actually Aaron Rodgers backing up Josh Allen. They've got Joe Mixon, sure. Oh, wow. I just remembered how good the Atlanta Falcons are. It seems like every elite NFL player comes from the state of Georgia, yet they were somehow, what were they, like a five seed in the playoff? They, they're under rated for sure. Ah, uh, that's right. They have one weakness, which is uh, Deshaun under center. Will he hold them back? Maybe they should play Justin Fields. Oh, and I should also mention very quickly, looking back at our map of hometown teams, I did give the Cowboys Oklahoma
Oklahoma as well. It made sense. The Saints obviously had Louisiana born players, and I'm sure some of you caught it. Some Mississippi born players to their bordering state. We all good? You don't have to yell at me in the comment section now. I will kill you. The Colts surprisingly made the playoffs in the AFC. They are a mix of obviously Indiana born players as well. Kentucky, Zach Martin, Terry McLaurin. Dude, they are not good. And their quarterback is Desmond Ritter. Um, sure, I, I guess. A team that does have a QB that I'm not surprised was elite, the Tennessee Titans using the state of Tennessee. I also gave them Alabama, which was a big old boost. Oh my, they, they're a closet contender for sure. Trevor Lawrence under center uh, doesn't hurt either. And let's get to awards for our hometown team league simulation. Pat Mahomes on the Dallas Cowboys, the MVP. Wow, Dallas went 15 and two. Yep. Joe Burrow on the Vikings. I didn't show their roster, but yeah, Joey B. I combined the states of Minnesota, South Dakota, and Iowa, which is where Joe Burrow's from. TJ Hawkinson as well. Yeah, these Vikings just blue collar, hard work and type people. I don't know if that's true. Am I just stereotyping out here? Anyways, also in the MVP race, very predictable. The Saints who went 16 and one, Josh Allen, Bryce Young for the Eagles. I'll look at their roster in a bit. They slipped into the playoffs. Russell Wilson, I forgot. He's the QB of the Bengals. Amazing to shot. Wow, that, that's funny. I mean, it's not like that funny, but Russell Wilson having success. Uh, anyways, 249ers atop the offensive player of the year. Yeah, they have so many weapons, dude. Uh, not that much Saints content. I guess Jefferson's up there. DPOY Demarcus Lawrence on the Panthers. Wow. Yo, the Panthers missed the playoffs. We're going to have to look at their roster. They were loaded. That's surprising. In the AFC Offensive Player of the Year, I haven't looked at the Jaguars yet, but Derrick Henry did lead them to the playoffs with an 11 and 6 record. Garrett Wilson working with Russell Wilson in Cincinnati. It's working, boys. Okay, fair enough. Well, DP... Oh, oh no. Oh, wait a minute. Frankie Lou... Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, I did mention in the intro, some players might have snuck in that weren't supposed to be on certain rosters. Frankie Louvu, I think, was born in the American Samoa. Also, I might have just butchered his name. Anyways, how'd he slip in here? Wait a second. Frankie won DPOY. He's not supposed to be in this video. And, did <laughs> and the Chargers went 6 and 11. How's he winning DPOY on one of the worst teams in the NFL. And wait a minute, the Chargers missing the playoffs is actually shocking. They had a really loaded team, players hailing from Los Angeles. They got wide receivers. Apparently they have a deep Frankie Louvu's 80 overall. What am I seeing? It makes no damn sense. Oh yeah, Sam Darnold, CJ Stroud. Yep, that'll make you miss the playoffs. Fair enough. Final thing to quickly deep dive on stats. Joe Burrow led the league in passing yards. Mahomes, Russell Wilson really bald for the Bengals. Can he make a playoff run there? Um, yeah. Yeah, here's the rest of the stats. Shout out to Drew Locke with the Chiefs. I mean, not really shout out because the Chiefs were a dumpster fire. Joe Mixon clearing the field by a mile with rushing yards. Derrick Henry pushed the Jags into the playoffs. Nick Chubb, Josh Jacob, DeAndre Swift. Yeah, okay, my fantasy team wishes. Oh my word, Tyler Lockett led the league in receiving. Is he even Pat Mahomes' number one option there in Dallas? I do not know. Adam Thielen turning the clock back. Garrett Wilson with Russ in Cincinnati. Devontae, Justin Jefferson. Okay. Okay, makes sense because I know some of you keen watchers noticed it because he was literally second in the NFL in receiving yards. Jordan Addison, I forgot to move. He should be on the Ravens. Instead, he stayed on the Vikings, but uh, you know what? My man finished second in the NFL in receiving yards as a 77 overall. He deserves to be in Minnesota. Okay, sue me. Oh, no, don't. But now we've got a read on our hometown team league, including the teams who disappointed and missed the playoffs. Let's see who can make a run through. Can we have some upsets here in the wild card weekend? Despite Trevor Lawrence throwing for a pair of touchdowns in his Titans playoff debut. The Colts spoiled the party with Desmond Ritter coming through clutch, a late fourth quarter dot to Rondale Moore, and Indianapolis caused some chaos. Okay, we just saw a two seed fall in the Tennessee Titans. That was kind of shocking. Over in the NFC, though, uh, not the same result. The Cowboys handled business. Brock Purdy's Lynn Sanity run comes to an end. Patrick Mahomes unsurprisingly outplayed. Russell Wilson and the Cincinnati Bengals would also defend their home field in a pretty uneventful 21-14 win. Russ did throw for a pair of tutties. Next up, we had what should have been the matchup of the weekend. 49ers, Falcons, a couple heavyweights, which unfortunately didn't live up to the hype. I thought we'd at least get a super clutch finish, but nah, San Fran dominated. 31-21 the final. Josh Allen, 2-13-1. He didn't even play that great. I think that bodes well for San Francisco's chances because Josh Allen probably won't have an off game again. You know what I meant. It was a star running back duel up next. Christian McC McCaffrey and the Broncos versus Derrick Henry and the Jaguars. Both dudes put in work, but ultimately it was McCaffrey and the Broncos getting the upper hand. And actually CMC, well, he ran for 101 yards, 5.9 a clip. No TDs though. Derrick Henry 
Murray 95 and 1, it wasn't enough. Dude, Mac Jones, how are you going to get outplayed by Nick Mullins? Nick Mullins is just the default QB on the Broncos. They had no one else. What? No, seriously, I have no idea where Nick Mullins is from. Easton Stick is from Colorado or Wyoming, one of the states that I use for the Broncos, but he's so bad. He's getting benched for 62 overall, Nick Mullins. But you know what? That Nick Mullins just won a playoff game, so we're going to roll with it. Oh my gosh, and we'd roll right into the Philadelphia Eagles potentially upsetting MVP runner-up Joe Burrow and the Vikings? TJ Hawkinson is out there somewhere. They got a bunch of uh, people movers on the offensive line. Some studs. Joey B stepping back. That's a draw. Third down. Joe's got to find Hawkinson or Thielen. He finds one of the two white dudes. Thielen. I think the Vikings are going to score here. Philly, can they? What? Are, that was just, that was low-key pathetic. I cannot lie to you all. Yeah, okay. I kind of thought this game was over. As per usual, I am an idiot because uh, what happened was the Vikings missed a two-point convert, only had a one-point lead. Bryce Young has marched the Eagles down the field in like three plays before I could jump back into this game. <laughs> I, well, there you go. I definitely should have been watching that as it happened, but again, sometimes I'm just not thinking clearly. Bryce Young, don't uh, don't fumble the bag here, figuratively or literally. DeAndre Swift, the hometown hero, almost punches it in, almost. Wait, once again, I'm an idiot. Everybody in this video, most people anyways, are hometown heroes, not just DeAndre Swift. Wow, why are they throwing this? That could have been disastrous, bro. Thankfully, Madden 24 isn't uh, ultimately stupid or anything. Not that I thought they would be. They are kicking a field goal, a short ranger. That's good. And I think that's going to be game. And indeed, it was game. Our second big upset of the wild card weekend. Look at Bryce Young not really outplaying Joe Burrow, but he did his thing. As again, the Colts, a seven seed upset the Titans. Everything else was stock in the AFC. The Cowboys cruised. The 49ers handled the Falcons, but the fifth seeded Eagles, I guess it wasn't a massive upset, but still nice. Also, shout out to the Eagles, a team I don't think I've showed yet. Uh, yeah, they've got they've got some playmakers, and Bryce Young is cool. He's up to an 83 overall. Unfortunately, those Eagles have the pleasure of doing battle with the New Orleans Saints. The Dolphins, Colts get a matchup. I'm excited, dude. Do we get more upsets here? Unfortunately not in game one of our divisional round weekend, as yeah, the Saints have arrived in the playoffs, and they are very good. Dak Prescott threw for a pair of touchdowns. Travis Etienne ran for another. It was over quickly. Oh, baby, we jump in next to the Russell Wilson Bowl, the Bengals versus former team, the Broncos. All Denver needs is a first down here, and they've got the game. Well, they might already have the game, actually. We are cruising in this super sim. Okay, no more timeouts for the Bengals. C-Mac running for a first down and then some. Oh, okay, that's game. I thought we might get some excitement down the stretch there if Cincinnati had gotten a stop. Russell Wilson, 193-1. and one. He didn't play horribly, but Christian McCaffrey, 125 on the ground. He did his thing, brother. He's carrying them. Any chance the uh, first seeded Dolphins fumble the bag here against Indianapolis? And unfortunately, uh, yeah, no clutch moments. That would be a no, although we got to respect the Colts, man. They beat the Titans and only lost by 10 to Miami. Yo, Lamar Jackson, 274 and three through the air. Yeah, Miami's so tough. To wrap up the divisional round weekend, we had 49ers Cowboys, so historic. Also, Josh Allen versus Patrick Mahomes. This matchup lived up to the hype. There was a million points scored. However, the Cowboys simply couldn't hang. They lost by 11 and it probably could have been worse. Pat Mahomes threw for 322, five TDs, severely outplaying Josh Allen. I mean, he did have two INTs, fair. But the 49ers rushing attack with Joe Mixon and Najee Harris was insane. They combined for four touchdowns, just dominating the Dallas defense. And with that, we've got our championship game set. The Dolphins were the one seed, so they earned it, but uh, they get to play Nick Mullins and the Broncos. They're going to be in the Super Bowl in like four seconds here. Meanwhile, the 49ers have gone through a murderer's road. The Falcons, who were loaded, the Cowboys, who had Mahomes, and now the Saints, who uh, that state of Louisiana, man, so good. And just before what should be the game of the season, the 49ers roster now looks like this. Josh Allen playing at a 99 with Devontae. Joe Mixon dominated their last playoff game. Uh, yeah, this team is for real. What else can I say? But the Saints, along with the Falcons, who already lost, were, in my opinion, the two best rosters I've built when putting this video together. My word. Look at all those 90 plus overalls, man. I have no idea what's about to happen. What would happen was a predictable heavyweight tilt between our two monster rosters up until about halftime when shortly thereafter, the Saints hit him with a one-two punch and never looked back. And your boy can't even get a clutch finish out here with this game. I thought it was heading towards it at one point, but the 49ers did not have any magic left. New Orleans just so good. Josh Allen was not great in this game for the 49ers. No TDs. He threw an INT. Dak Prescott 
Prescott just did his thing. On the ground, Joe Mixon did score another touchdown, but wasn't able to carry. Look at Cam Akers. Two TDs, uh, 2.9 yards per carry. Let's just ignore that. And thankfully, we find out that Madden 24 has some good simulation logic because Nick Mullins did not beat the Miami Avengers in a playoff game. That would have been, uh, we would have had a problem. I'm just saying. And after all them shenanigans, we do end up with a pretty predictable Super Bowl. Two one seeds, Miami versus New Orleans. Let's go. I just showed the Saints roster. We know how stacked it is, but the Dolphins, no slouch either. Uh, I see Lamar, Amari Cooper, Dalvin Cook, and a bunch of studs on defense. They're going to need it, man, to try and clamp them Saints, bro. Who will claim superiority for their hometown team? Let's go, New Orleans, Miami Super Bowl. It was a low-scoring battle of heavyweights in the Super Bowl as the teams traded touchdowns in the first quarter before Lamar ran one in to give the Dolphins a one-score lead before halftime. Coming out of half, Lamar would find Amari Cooper in the end zone to give him a two-score lead, and eventually in the fourth, Lamar Jackson and Marquise Brown connected for a 74-yard touchdown pass, all but putting the nail in the coffin of the Saints. I cannot believe it, dude. The Miami Dolphins? I mean, they were obviously loaded, but they finished the season 12-5. and five. The Saints were something like 15-2, and two, probably the better team on paper. But into the Super Bowl, it simply does not matter. Yo! Lamar Jackson in the Super Bowl, severely outplaying Dak Prescott. He had 339-2, and two, not to mention another 38 yards and a touchdown on the ground. Wow, what a performance. But of course, in the intro, I did mention we do two seasons because we can't just accept Miami being the kings of the NFL. We got to see if another city has something in store in year two. But let's move a lot quicker in year two. We know the rosters. We know the setup. The Dolphins looking to go back to back. We're a one seed again, but this time the Cowboys were on top in the NFC. Both the Texans and Chargers disappointed in year one, but they're in the playoffs this time around and the Patriots slipped in as well. Okay. The Bears in the playoffs. Nice. Also the Panthers, right? They failed in year one, but they're back. Pat Mahomes won a second straight MVP and oh my word, I just noticed the Cowboys went 17 and 0. It's on. Hey, oh, Jamal Williams won Offensive Player of the Year. Honestly, you love to see that. And what in the world? Trent Irwin? Is, is this a joke? He's a 73 overall. Are you f***ing stupid? Anyways, Chase Young, AFC DPOY with Baltimore. Josh Jacobs, NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Miles Garrett, NFC Defense. Sheesh, the Cowboys really cleaned up. So Mahomes went 49 and 3 with TDs and INTs. Jacobs ran for just under 2,000 yards and 28 touchdowns. While Tyler Lockett and Sterling Shepard combined for a million stats. Sure, yeah. Led by Jalen Hurts, the Texans would upset the Chargers and the Panthers would upset the Niners early on in the playoffs. Wow. We know all about the Cowboys, Saints, and Falcons. Now we've added this Panther squad into the mix in the NFC. Wow. And I probably got too hyped on those Panthers. Uh, they got smacked while the uh, Saints advanced to the NFC Championship game again. We won't have a repeat champ though. Lamar and the Dolphins got upset by Houston while the Titans are apparently on the warpath. Houston doesn't have the deepest roster, but I suppose Jalen Hurts is balling. The Titans defense looks tough though. The Saints wouldn't get a shot at redemption in the Super Bowl as the Cowboys put their foot on the gas and never took it off. It was all Dallas. Sterling Shepard went for 200 yards and four TDs. Yeah, it's simply destiny, bro. We did have a tight game in the AFC, however, as Houston couldn't get a stop to earn one last possession. This game was all Tony Pollard and Ken Walker for the Titans. What a duo. 17-0 Cowboys versus the 9-8 Titans. This was a surprisingly tight game given the Dallas domination in season two, but Tennessee's magic would eventually wear off as Mahomes and the boys completed their perfect season. It was Miami in year one, Dallas in year two. What do you think of those results? Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's uh, free, so why not?